up YouTube. <laughs> Today's video is going to be about my makeup collection. So first, for my foundation and my concealer, I don't usually wear it that much, but when I do, I have these two items that I use. Oh, there we go. Got it. Got it? Mm -hmm. And I apply that foundation and that concealer with my Sonia Kashuk, I don't even know if that's how you say it, but that brush um, that my friend got me from Target. For blush, I have this blush brush that's also that Sonia Kashuk brand. And then for my blush, I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know what brand <laughs> this is. It's just this corally pink blush, but I really like it and maybe I'll get a new blush when it runs out. Then for eyeshadow, I have two eyeshadow thingies. So yeah, yeah, I feel like I don't really need too many other colors. And for applying my eyeshadow, I use this one eyeshadow brush from Sephora. And <laughs> I just got this brush from Sephora a long time ago. And it's the only eyeshadow brush I have. And it works just fine. And for my lips, I have one lip liner pencil and two matte lip lipstick stains, lip colors from ColourPop. These are the Revlon liquid eye pens, and these are the best eyeliners, in my opinion. I've been using these for like six years. I have this Revlon Brow Fantasy. It's like a pencil and gel. It's a good wombo combo. To sharpen my eyebrow pencil, I use this eyebrow pencil sharpener that I've had ever since like 6th or 7th grade. It's from Claire's from like at least 8 years ago. And I have an e.l.f. It used to be a clear gel but now it's kind of like a murky kind of gross brown. But it's okay. It's just to keep my eyebrows in place. And then I also have this brow pomade um, by Colourpop. It's almost empty. It's almost empty, as you can see, but once it runs out, I'll probably just stick to the Revlon um, pencil and brow gel that I showed you just a minute ago. And to put on that ColourPop eyebrow pomade, I use an e.l.f. eyebrow duo brush. This is also just a really inexpensive brush, and I've had this for a really long time as well. And I wear glasses, so I don't really have a preference for mascara, but I went to a Wellness Your Way festival a few months ago and they gave out free samples. So right now, the mascara I have is this sample size of the Maybelline Colossal Yellow Mascara. It's hard for me to wear mascara anyway because it will just rub right on my um, eyeglass lens, so I usually don't wear it. But I do have one pair of fake eyelashes that I keep in my makeup bag for very special occasions. Other miscellaneous things that I keep in my makeup bag, a pair of black tweezers, on-the-spot acne treatment by Neutrogena, which is just benzoyl peroxide, a Vino Positively Radiant Intensive Night Cream. I use it all the time, so I don't just use it at night. It's kind of like my face lotion that I use at night and in the morning and throughout the day when my face gets dry. I keep it in this really pretty silver Miniso bag. I don't know if this is interesting. Maybe it is for some people. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let us know down below what you spend $60 on. So for $60, you could buy a new warm winter coat. One new video game. Okay. <laughs> well, how much are video games at GameStop nowadays? I don't know. If they're new, they're like 16 bucks. That's wild. That's too much. But if they're used, they could be like a dollar. <laughs> That's too much money. Or 60 used video games. 
Chipotles. Ooh, or 60 McChickens. Or six Chipotle burritos with guac. With guac. Um, I feel like $60 is also maybe a week's worth of groceries. Probably 10,000 Poke Coins. 10,000 what? Poke Coins. Oh, on the game? From Pokemon Go. Yeah, that's a lot. I don't even know what you can do with that. Me neither. With $60, you can even fill up your gas tank a couple times. But only if you're in Ohio. And you drive a sedan. Yeah. Because your car takes like 20 gallons. Yeah, it does. So it probably take like a one. And a half. But yeah. So I guess this video is pretty much just to get people thinking about what they're buying and if it's actually worth how much it is. Because I know people that spend $60 to buy things that they don't need like that. Yeah. So just be smart with your money and don't buy things you don't need. You can buy whatever you like. That's true. You can buy whatever you like. As long as you buy it for yourself, not to impress other people. That's true. That is good advice.